Yeah, there are a couple of uh, regions, but most important is uh, climatic changes and deforestation. The uh, movement of the population is also international, inter uh, state, inter country, that is also another factor. But uh, most important, I would emphasize on the climatic changes and deforestation. And that is leading to the wild population of the uh, wild animals to the domestic area and the uh, mixing of the pet animals with the forest animals. Also the movement of the people for the hunting, for the investigations, for the cutting of the uh, plants or trees, that is also another region. So because of these there is a mix, mix up of the uh, forest area diseases into the domestic area and that is leading to the outbreaks. This is quite possible and most of the countries uh, in Europe and America they can uh, predict and that was the reason that you know for the Zika virus there was prediction and in India also we can we have several you know facilities like satellite GIS and all these facilities are there unfortunately we need to have more resources more funding and the uh, dedicated uh, you know human resource department. So some institute if it is dedicated because you know we all are working but we are working in piecemeal. If we are having interest in one disease we are working on only for one disease rather than you know working for a, as a holistic one institute dedicated only for GIS managing and the prediction of the diseases particularly the you know mild and zoonotic diseases. I think uh, not India but otherwise also WHO has also uh, you know formed a group that is what they call uh, you know One Health One World. So that is initiative and uh, government of India has also endorsed that because it is coming from WHO. So that most important initiative is that you know the veterinarians and the uh, medical people they should come together and they should fight together, they should investigate together and that is the you know culmination of uh, the advisory from the WHO. And in the, that direction only we are uh, organizing this conference. I think our priorities are different. So uh, priority, our priorities are uh, you know lacking. Uh, maybe uh, so because of that reason, uh, the uh, we have uh, particularly in last two three years, the our funding position particularly for research and development has further gone down and uh, our focus has also changed. So like you know we are focusing more on the diseases which are already there. So we are overburdened with the uh, to control or treat the diseases which are already uh, looming you know large on us. So we have little or uh, no uh, you know resources or funds for the diseases or forecasting or which we can expect in future. Because like for tuberculosis, HIV, AIDS, these are the diseases of today. So we are fighting with these diseases and all resources are going in these and even for these diseases which are already killing many, many people, we do not have enough resources and particularly in the last 2-3 years like Indian Council of Medical Research, the funding position has gone drastically down. So obviously there is no funds available or remain for the diseases in future to investigate in anticipation. at the time when these Ebola and Zika, the, the, the outbreaks occurred, uh, our government was uh, really very uh, you know, proactive. We uh, made a you know, system to screen and to quarantine the patients or passengers rather I should say, those who were coming from the uh, infected areas or endemic areas and like Africa and Brazil. So that quarantine worked very well. 